Famicom. School. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to re get the school on time. School. School is spelled S C H O L. And by the title screen, just just the music. Yeah, we're in for a treat here. This is this is a good game. Yeah, this is a very good a good game. So this is a very weird game as well. I first heard about this game. This game was initially released on the Xbox Live Indie Game Service many, many, many years ago. And someone that I follow played played it a bit. There was like he he had no commentary for it. Um, that was super great friend. He played through a lot of the indie games back back in the day. No commentary, just completely silent. I thought it was genius. And then he ended up playing the full version later on. And I thought, you know, we're going to play this now. This is actually the PC release. It is released on Steam. And this could be a game that is extremely challenging or relatively easy. We could get through it in a few minutes or maybe 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. But there is a little bit of a story of this game. And according to the um, Steam page or wherever the other information that I found was. So the story is, Help the young fooler on his odyssey through the back streets of England in 2003 as he tries to get to school against the clock, learning critical life lessons along the way. And as you can see, we can go ahead and start. We have an option for Chaos de Defrost, which we'll see at the end, and we can exit the game. Now, I do want to make mention, it did say at the very beginning, if you're sensitive to any strobing lights or flashing effects, be very mindful of that because this game does have a lot of flashing effects that may cause, cause some problems if you're very sensitive to that. So let's go ahead in now, shall we? Okay. Stage one. How to play stage one. Control your line of paint with D-pad and toggle with button A to reproduce the painting hanging on the wall as best as you can while making use of the Oscar Brothers constructive criticisms. Okay. Okay, Oscar Brothers. That won't sell for sh- No problem. Please stop. No problem. Try harder. I am. Make it look better. That won't sell for sh- I'm not- I'm not copying what's on the wall, sir. Wait, where are you? Try harder, man. No problem. He's very, uh... Wait, where are you? You are suspended. How you like that, sir? Ooh, okay. IMDB recommends birds of a feather. If, if you like good, good night, sweetheart. Well done. Oh, thank you, thank you. Fuller, you're so late for class. I'll teach you for dissing me. Okay, how to play stage two? It's 2003, the opening weekend of Love Infinity, and now you have to get back to school before anyone notices your truant. Truant. D-pad to move, button A to jump, and button B to spit. Okay. This is the level, this is the rage level that a lot of people have problems with. And we have a spit meter, as you can see. And we also uh, have a monster that's kind of following us. We can spit. But it doesn't really, really do anything until, you know, a little bit later, but uh, yeah. Now, there was like older versions of this game where you actually had it had different music here and a pe Pepsi meter. So we can jump and, and anything that we can touch could could kill us. So we have to be very careful of that. Such as that. Try harder. OK. This is a very strange game. Ah, darn. Okay. 
one hit death, and then you basically had to start over, over from the beginning. There we go. Made a pass. Ghost boy, I will not be touching you. Snowman in the back. And weird things falling from the sky. And sick jams as well, by the way. A vomiting yeti thing. Oh, it's Colonel Sanders. Let's kill him. He just wants some Kentucky Fried. Okay, he dead now. Colonel Sanders be dead. Ah, oh, darn that stupid rat. Stupid rat right at the very end. I almost had it. We're right at the end of the level, too. Alright. Okay, let's kill Colonel Sanders again. Looking for that K K uh, KFC. No KF for, uh, no no KFC for you, son. There you go. Yeah, don't 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 you love the monster behind me? Amazing. Actually, I'm gonna wait on this. I stand right here? No, you can't. Okay, so... I was kind of close. I almost had it there. I almost had it. I almost had that there. It's my pet monster. He's coming to school with me, is what it is. He's coming to school with, with me. Wait. Mr. Sanders? Mr. Sanders is now dead. Don't you like how he walks? I like I like his amazing walk. There we go. Easy, I'm puffed out. Love Infinity? Yeah, yeah, we went to the concert, I guess. All right. On the 25th of December, 1995, a special aired entitled Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Well done. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Get out or be squared. All right, we, we got out. How to play stage three. To complete the bullies, pranks, and graduate to college high, toss balloons of soup with button A into the crash. Adjust your aim with a D-pad. Okay, let's go ahead and toss the balloons of soup into the crash. There you go, crash. Look at the cat just kind of watching us back, back there. Nice. The show ran for six years, spanning 1993 to 1999. Fuller, I have heard you finally grew up. Now you understand the true meaning of responsibility. In order to receive your high school diploma, you must terminate my star pupil. Daniel girl. Daniel, da da Daniel girl. He is so intelligent and popular. Even as a man, it makes me feel inadequate. What weapon? The only chance we have is hiss the click. 
Yes, I know, he is unstable technology, but we have no choice. Alright, stage four. Identify and eradicate Dean Wilson's star pupil. Control the target with a D-pad and button A to rattle. Too many mistakes and you will be busted. So, just as another warning, this, this, this particular game has a lot of strobing lights. So be very careful. Yeah, it's like really, really bad. There's my cur cursor. Almost got him. Almost got him. Very, very strobing. Where are you, man? Come on back. Keep missing him. There you go. I got him. I got him. Okay. After the third series, Derva Kerwin left and was replaced by Liz Carling. All right. That's good information, sir. How to play final stage. Here we are, right at the end of the game already. Ah, uh, such a short game. Short and sweet. Hey, summer is finally here. Use the D-pad to kick the soda bottles around the pool and avoid the women's cocktails to party all the way into the millennium. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. We did it. We kicked those cocktails out of there. Several of the episode titles from Series 5 feature abbreviations. Example, California Dreamin' and the Oasis in Between. Alright, let's, let's roll the credits. That was a pretty wicked game, I must say. Yes, I might show it to my mate Adam. He loves games like this. What was your favorite bit? Remember that bit with the werewolf? He was creepy. Yes, that was definitely spooked. What about that crazy snake wolf was in the fiendish feet pod? Yeah, and the babies that were puking up everywhere. Gross. I also feel that I learned some of my highly valuable data on Goodnight Sweetheart. I never really watched that program, but Rodney was amazing in it. In the game or in the show? <laughs> Both, I bet. That's right. Well, I'm definitely going to rent some birds of the feather DVHS now. Fancy going now? All right, mate. We can pick up some berries from the freshers on the way. Excellent. Party time. And the game closes. So, amazing game, right? Amazing game? <laughs> what was that? Uh, you know? What kind of game was this? Yep. It's Red Blades. Now, there's one more option. Famicom. Famicom. There's one more option here. Again, be very careful if you have any sort of epilepsy. Because here we go. Chaos Defrost. The snake has long been the symbol of death and rebirth. Before it sheds its skin, its eyes begin to cloud over, as if to indicate it is entering a stage between life and death. Famicon. There you go. <laughs> talking about the snake. He's talking about the snake there. So yeah, that is the game. That is the game. That is a very strange game. That's a very weird game. I have no other comments for that game because... That is probably one of the strangest games you will ever see. Probably one of the strangest games you will ever see.